Hey Adventures! Today is the end of the year book tag. This is one of the videos that we have put on our list of annual videos as we're calling them, so videos that we're planning on doing every year. Are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? The only one that I can think of for sure that I would that I would like to try and finish this year is She by H. Ryder Haggard. Um, I put this one down it would just it, I couldn't get into it and I wasn't going fast enough and I was ready to move on to Eye of the World essentially um, so I, I needed some fantasy in my life at the moment so I don't think I have a book that I didn't put down that I would want to pick up again if I put something down it's because I DNF'd it so no the answer is no do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year well Autumn doesn't really exist in Alaska, and I autumnal mean, is a stupid word, so... We have fall, but it's short, and, like, it's winter right now, guys, so... Yeah. That would have been, like, August that we needed to consider this, and we did not film this in August. No. So, also, books aren't, like, seasonal, unless it's, like, inherently Christmas, like the Christmas Carol. Yeah. They're not seasonal, I don't feel like. People are like, oh, Harry Potter has, like, fall books, and we're like, well, what? Well, it now? goes from fall to spring, so but you read it's it the entire fall, school But you year. could read fall to spring in one week of fall, and then you move on to all summer long. So, yeah. like, it just doesn't work some that Some of them have summer in them, too. It just, yeah. It's exactly. Tough. Anyways. So, no. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? Well, um, technically this book was released, so it's... I'm not waiting for it, I'm just waiting to get my hands on it and make time to read it, but that's Recorder by Kathy McC McC McCrum, sorry, um, it's a book that I'm kind of excited for, and then also a book that's coming out in 2022 is Maxine Justice Galactic Attorney by Daniel Schwabauer, which I'm looking forward to that too, I, I read his Operation Grendel read in, released rather, in Mar March of this year of 2021. So, I'm looking forward to the next book. I kind of know the premise of it too, so. I don't think I have one that I'm waiting for. I don't really tend to follow new releases that much, which is kind of an issue when questions like this come up. So I don't really have one that I'm waiting for at the moment. I actually am also interested in Recorder. For some reason, the cover is just like, drawn me in and I'm like, okay, I want to read this, even Same. though I have no idea what I it's I know, about. I just, like, I saw the cover, I'm like, that's a sci-fi that I need in my life. Yeah. So. <laughs> what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? So I was trying to get through all the books I haven't read on my bookshelf and then I kind of narrowed it down today because I had to answer this question to this middle shelf here which is the last one in frame that you guys can see. And so I picked three books out of there that I haven't read but there's actually five or six. So the three books I picked are The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. It's a Stephen King book I own and I thought I'd try it. I hear it's not one of his best but I'm willing to give it a go. And then The Crucible which is, does it have, even have an author? Or is it like one of those? Oh yeah, Arthur Miller does have an author. What else did he write? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. And then Soul Surfer, written by Bethany Hamilton. It's an uh, autobiography of sorts. So three books I'm going to read. And that one isn't even on that shelf. It's way down at the bottom, but I still want to read it soon. So. The three that I have that I'd actually read, well, other than the last one, but the first two anyways, Sun by... Lois Lowry, this is the fourth book in the Giver Quartet. I've been meaning to read this for, you know, it's been close to a year now. Yeah, it it's been be over longer. a year. It's, it's been, been like over since a year. we started YouTube. Yeah, it's been since we started YouTube, Those but fun. also since, um, since I, I specifically started reading through the Giver Quartet when I started reading Stormlight last year in like July or something like that. So it's been a while. Then I have The Dragon Reborn, which is book three of The Wheel of Time. I'm still in the middle of book two. I had to set it aside for school book reasons. I, basically, I'm behind on my school book and I have to catch up. <laughs> and then Sitka by Louis L'Amour. This is the one that I don't really care so much, but I needed to answer and it sounded like a good one. And it's like one that I actually do want to get to pretty soon. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? I don't think so, just because I don't really try and get, I have super high expectations for a book in my bookshelf. Maybe like Martian Chronicles if I get to that one by Ray Bradbury, but based on the synopsis, I think I might enjoy it, but I don't think I'll love it. So I don't know. I'm gonna say no. I don't really know that there will be. I mean, it's possible. Um, Tristan, which I'm reading right now by Gottfried von Strasberg, that's the school book that I'm reading. I may end up enjoying that, and it may, the second half of it may completely blow me away. I don't really think so. What else? Dragon Reborn, I might. Book Three Wheel of Time, I. I kind of don't think so because book two I'm not liking as much as I like book one. It's great, but it's not, I mean, book one is just so good. Any other ones that might? I don't really think so. I don't think I'll get to really anything else that would have a 
opportunity to blow me away this year. So, Have you already started making reading plans for 2021? Sort of. I mean, I still have the goal of getting through all the books in my bookshelf. If I get books for Christmas, that could grow and we'll see what happens. But I don't know, I just want to read the books that I own so I know whether or not I should own them. If I don't like, like a book, I don't think I should have it in my bookshelf. Unless it's a, um, on the band book list. Um, the short answer is yes. The long answer is come join us in starting in December for The Hobbit and then in January we will be starting read along through the Lord of the Rings, and as well as the D'Artagnan Romances by Alexander Dumas. Hold up, you said we? It's not gonna include me, guys. <laughs> no, she ain't reading through this. Um, no. I am specifically talking about me and David Wiley and several others who I have talked to and I don't remember who all I have. So there might be a lot of us, there might not be. But come join us, it'll be fun. So those are my reading plans. Um, I mean, I've got several other books that I'd like to read next year and that I probably will get to. The one book that I'll probably get to for sure is Dune by Frank Herbert just because I do definitely want to read that and I would like to watch the movie but I want to read the book first so I have, I have to make that happen before I get something spoiled. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you all for watching An Erudite Adventure. Thank you all for watching An Erudite Adventure. <laughs> Uh, we post videos every Monday and Thursday. We have our social medias linked in the description down below. Like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys again soon. Stay warm.